What is up, you two? I'm Jerry with the Happy Hootie here again. This is episode six, if you're keeping track, on reviews that we have on our 2022 Volvo S60 Recharge Extended Range Black Edition. And today, on this review, I'm going to be going over the drive modes. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check those out, come have a seat and we'll run through a few. Here in the driver's seat, I've got this set up currently as I like to have it, which is with the red theme. Uh, it comes with the different themes you can change on the uh, gauge cluster and also on this. I like the one that had the red that goes with it. But it always, in this 2022 and beyond, is going to start out in, this is the United States now, going to start out in this hybrid mode. Now you can see that, where it says it right there in the hybrid. Uh, it has several different drive modes. They used to have a scroll wheel that was right in this position here that you could scroll through and change the drive modes. They have changed that now, and you have to access various other drive modes through the infotainment system. I don't really mind it that much. I've heard a lot of people complain about it. Uh, to get to that drive mode selection, you just need to swipe this direction, and drive modes is the top left up there, and by clicking drive modes, it gives you your options of the drive modes that you have, which are constant all-wheel drive, pure electric, which is just the electric only, the hybrid, which is what it's going to start in, and then the, you know, sporty driving one. Now, we do not have the Polestar engineered uh, option done to this. I, I believe if you get that Polestar engineered option, uh, the software upgrade that gives you another mode in there as well. You used to, to be able, from what I understand as well, to start this in eco- pure mode and select a button to always start at eco pure don't know that that's really that necessary because when you change it to eco pure it says pure down there and it will only use electric only until you just floor the pedal all the way down it'll trigger when it hits all the way up there it'll trigger to kick on the gas or petrol engine uh, when i switch over to the hybrid everyday use once you start going and driving it'll give you a little gauge about a third of the way up that as soon as you go past that point it will kick in the petrol or gas engine and uh, you know do that but honestly even in hybrid mode I mean you will be driving in electric most of the time I mean here I am charged up with 45 miles it says and that gas mileage has just been doing nothing that's the <laughs> miles per gallon has been doing nothing but go up ever since I bought the car because I haven't really been using any gas at all, aside from just to get up on it a few times uh, to kind of see what it can do. This other drive mode that is the constant all-wheel drive, if you put it in that, it does activate the petrol or gas engine. It, of course, changes over the gauges a little bit. Uh, it will be running the gas as well as the electric because your electric, from what I understand, only runs the rear wheel and the gas engine runs the front set of wheels. So when you're in all time, all wheel drive, the gas engine will be running. Uh, you also get a heck of a lot of power out of this as well because all four wheels will be, will be spinning at the same time. And so that, I haven't had a chance to mess with that too much with the, uh, with the weather, but uh, I'm sure this winter time I will be doing that. But it will always start in this hybrid mode uh, as a default. And now that the engine's been running, you can see it's got the little little oil. If I can get it to focus here, the little oil gas thing is running. So it is burning, burning that right now. So that is the drive modes that you get moving forward. Again, are just the all-wheel drive, the pure, the hybrid, and the power mode. And you get that by, by simply swiping one direction this, and it's the top left button that it comes on there and uh, that's how you access the drive modes and what they do i hope you found this helpful if you did please feel free to like and subscribe we've got several other episodes with regards to this specific volvo but it does also apply to many of the others with their inside that range years of volvo so feel free to check us out again like and subscribe and comment down below i'd be happy to answer any questions you have and we'd love to see you here next time see you later